Hey there, Michael Bust here, math teacher. Uh, welcome back to my channel as I share uh, video tutorials specifically made for my Math 7 and Pre-Algebra students, but uh, anybody is free to use them. So here we go. In lesson 2.5, percent of change, we're going to look at how costs of certain items have changed over time and what percent it has changed by. So percent of change is going to be the ratio of the amount of the change from one time to another or from the original price to a discount divided by the original amount. If the original amount is an increased, we can think of it as a percent increase, and that'll be the amount of the increase divided by the original amount. Now, if the original amount is decreased, we can consider that a percent decrease, and that'll be the amount of decrease divided by the original amount. Example one on page 144 says that a gallon of gas cost a dollar 30 a gallon in 1970. A gallon of gas cost two dollars and ninety-five cents a gallon in 2010. What we want to do is to find the percent of change from 1970 until 2010. All right. So the way that I can do that is first of all I want to think about it is is it a percent increase or decrease? Well from 2000, from 1970 to 2010, the, the price of a uh, cost of a gallon of gas went up. So I have a percent increase. So that is going to equal the difference between the two. So it's going to be $2.95 minus $1.30 over the original amount, which was $1.30. $2.95 minus $1.30 is $1.65. I'm going to divide that by my original amount, which is $1.30. Let's see, I'm actually keeping my colors the same. $1.30. So $1.65 divided by $1.30 is about, and I'm going to round it to the nearest tenth, $1.30. Now, in order for me to make this a percent, I now need to multiply this by 100. And so 100 or 1.27 times 100 is going to be about 127% increase. Example 2 on page 145 says that Yousef bought a DVD recorder for $280. It's now on sale for $220. Find the percent of change in the price of the DVD recorder. Well, first thing that I recognize is that the price used to be $280. It's now down to $220. So that's a percent decrease. So what that means is I'm going to have $280 minus $220 over the original amount, which was $280. And that's going to be 280 minus 220. It's going to be 60. divided by 280, and 
60 divided by 280 is about 0 0.21. And I'm just going to keep it rounding it to the nearest tenth. To turn this into a percent, I multiply that by 100, and I get about a 21% decrease. Why don't you try problems A and B on page 145. Pause the video here, work on the problems, come up with a solution, and then press play and check to see how your answers compare to mine. In problem A, to go from 10 yards to 13 yards would be a 30% increase. And in problem B, to reduce the price from $20 to $15, that would be a 25% decrease. Now we're gonna focus on percent error. Percent error is going to equal the ratio of the amount of the error over the original amount. So let's use example three to help determine percent error. Ahmed wants to practice free throws and he estimates the distance from the free throw line to the hoop and marks it with chalk. Ahmed's estimate was 13 point feet. However, the actual distance should be 15 feet. So we want to find the percent error. Okay. So the percent error is going to equal the amount of the error. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the actual amount, or the actual distance, and we're going to subtract his estimate. And then we're going to divide that by the original amount, or in this case, the actual distance from the free throw line. So 15 feet. So 15 minus 13.5 is going to equal 1.5 feet over the actual distance, which was 15 feet. And then 1.5 divided by 15 is going to equal 0 0.1. If I multiply this by 100, this will give me my percent error. And so my percent error is 10%. So that just means his estimate was off by 10% of the actual distance from the free throw line to the basketball hoop. So why don't you try uh, problem C on page 146. Uh, pause the video here, work on that problem, come up with a solution, hit play, and then check your answer with my answer uh, before moving on. In problem C, I have a error of 6%. So that means that the what I thought was uh, going to be the price, I was off by 6% of the original or the actual amount. So your homework tonight is page 147, numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Please have these problems completed by the start of our next class period so that we can organize ourselves into our small groups. Make sure you reach out to me if you have any questions. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more math tutorial videos. See you next time.